Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm Jess and today I'm gonna to be playing with some makeup. So I don't know if you saw, but I recently posted a small ColourPop haul. I grabbed a couple of items from the Disney Villains collection and today I'm gonna to be playing with this one. So this is the Jelly Munch Shadow in the color Spindle. This is from the Maleficent collection and it's just a very, very beautiful metallic purple and it's just so freaking pretty. So if you've watched my videos before, you can probably tell this isn't my normal background. I'm still actually house sitting right now. And so that means I don't have access to my entire makeup collection. So when I, you know, packed a bag to come here and house sit slash dog sit slash cat sit, um, I didn't bring my entire makeup collection, obviously. I did grab this guy and I forgot to grab some other purple eyeshadows to go with it, but honestly, I don't really care because this is so so pretty I really just want to put it all over the lid and do maybe some black liner and just like an inner corner highlight because it's just so stunning I don't think it needs anything else obviously if you had some other purple shadows you could do a little bit more but I'm just gonna play with this one today and see what happens but I'm really excited so that's what we're gonna be doing today before we get started though I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel I upload my videos on YouTube twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays so that's when you can find me here but also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that we can chat anytime you'd like all right you guys let's get started so I've never used a jelly munch shadow before so this is gonna be the first time for me and I kind of want to like test things out a little bit so I normally always need to put the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion all over the lids um, to, you know, keep my makeup in place. When I don't, it'll definitely crease on me and it's just something that I definitely need. But because I've never used any of these things before, I'm gonna do one eye with primer and then one without, just cause I wanna see if it's necessary for this type of formula. It's, I'm just curious, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you do, maybe you don't, but we'll find out. Anywho, just gonna start off by priming this eye, my right eye. So I'm going to just start off by using my finger to place this all over the lid uh, and then I'm going to use a Sigma E55 eyeshadow brush to try and place it a little bit more precisely afterwards. Um, I don't know if this is the best kind of brush but I'm not at home so I don't have access to all of my brushes and to be honest I don't know what brush would be best for this kind of thing so let's see what happens. So I have it all over the lid and I'm just going to, I think I'm actually just going to use my finger and spread it a little bit higher. Okay, so I laid it all down and it dries in, not like incredibly fast that you have to work really fast, but like it dried a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, it definitely feels like wet and cooling when you first put it on, but it's super easy to place and I think it's ridiculously beautiful like oh my gosh this is crazy um so i'm really really liking it i'm just going to do a little bit of a liner with the maybelline line stiletto um i am not good at doing winged liner if i was that's definitely something that i would try to do uh but i'm just gonna do like a little bit of like just a liner not a micro line just like normal eyeliner I'm using ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian on my inner corner and to highlight my face. All right guys, so we are all done with the look and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's just such a beautiful, vibrant purple. I don't have anything like this in my collection and this is the first time using a Jelly Munch eyeshadow for me, so it's a totally different experience. It 
the consistency is so weird <laughs> like it's very moussey and you I kind of thought it might be a little bit difficult to place but it wasn't at all it was super easy to place all over the lid I didn't even end up using a brush like just using your finger you can place it and a little goes a long way and there's quite a there's a fair amount in here I think these go for eight dollars if I'm wrong I'll put the number here but I think eight dollars is correct so super affordable the amount that you get like this is gonna last a long time and it's really really pretty I'm really really happy with it I think it's just so beautiful um like I said it's the first time I've used the jelly munch eyeshadows so I just wanted to see if I need a primer um on the lid I am the kind of person that always does need an eyeshadow primer but I've never used this kind of like formula before so I just wanted to see so I'll definitely like insert a clip afterwards to let you guys know um you know if it crumbles or you know if this one starts to fall apart and this one's looking great because this is the eye that i put the primer on this one doesn't have any so so this is the side without any primer and it hasn't creased or broken up or anything like it's perfect it's super weird the side with primer is fine as well but like this is the side that's like baffling um sure i've had it on for seven hours now um at least i can't remember exactly what time but i know it was at least three o'clock that i put this on and yeah it's still oh, still going point. strong um sorry for all of the noise and background distractions <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update i don't know it's a different formula and it's it's doing well and like otherwise like i'm a little bit oily and whatnot because i have combo skin um, but usually my eyelids get oily too and they're not so good stuff Yeah, I'm really really happy with it. It's so beautiful and I can't wait to play with the other one that I got I also got the just your voice and that one is a beautiful like bluish green It has like a shift of purple in there too But I've been doing a lot of blue eyeshadow looks so I wanted to switch it up and do the purple look so really really pretty and honestly like I'm really happy with just this look like if I was at home and I could use other purple eyeshadows to like, you know, do a crease and like, you know, um, transition shade and like all that jazz. And that would be pretty too. But honestly, like I'm really happy with just this and I think it's really, really easy to do. Um, it used four items like mascara, eyeliner, the eyeshadow, and then inner corner highlight. Like this whole look would probably take you less, less than 15 minutes. Like if you're taking your sweet time, but if you're in a rush, I bet you can do this in like 10 minutes. It didn't take long at all. And I think it's really pretty. I'm really happy with it. I'm also wearing the Maleficent uh, Disney Villains lipstick and it's so pretty. It's so comfortable and I love it. Like I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. It's so vibrant and I'm really, really happy with this. Um, with both the eyeshadow and the lipstick, they're incredibly comfortable. Like you can't even tell you're wearing anything. It just feels so, so comfortable. I really, really like this look and I kind of feel like you can do this any time of year. So if it was the fall, I would do this kind of look but with like a deeper, vampier lip. And I think that would be really pretty. Like purple looks, you can't go wrong. Like they're good any time of the year. Just switch up the lipstick to anything that you want really and it's gonna look good. So I'm really happy with this look. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you back. All right, you guys, take care, bye. Today, I'm gonna be playing with this ColourPop Super Shock. Nope, that's not what it's called, Jelly Munch. <laughs> shadow and the color spindle um this one is from the ursula collection no spindle maleficent the doors so perfect